Hey everyone and welcome to what is the year 2038 problem. The year 2038 problem is a timekeeping issue that affects many systems including computers that run an operating system called Unix as well as operating systems that are based on that. This problem is similar yet distinct to the Y2K problem which was also called the Millennium Bug. Due to this, the year 2038 problem is sometimes called the Unix Millennium Bug. The problem comes from how Unix and the underlying C programming language tracks the time. The time consists of two elements, an epoch, which is a particular point in time. Uh, for C and Unix, this is midnight of Greenwich Mean Time on January the 1st, 1970. The second part is a counter that counts the number of seconds that have passed since the epoch. When the computer needs to know the current time, it adds the number of seconds in the seconds counter to the epoch and this gives us the current time. The year 2038 problem is due to the seconds counter having a maximum value at 2,147,483,647 seconds which is equal to just over 68 years. Uh, this counts to 3.14 a.m. and 7 seconds of GMT on January the 19th, 2038. If a computer were to be at this maximum value and tried to go up a second to 3.14 and 8 seconds, it, it would loop round and become the lowest value of minus 2,147,483,648, making the computer think it was December the 13th of 1901 at 8.45 p.m. and 52 seconds of GMT, which is just over 8, 68 years before the epoch. This is all due to the way the computer treats the seconds counter. The technical term for the seconds counter is a signed 32-bit integer. The computer sees this, much like all other information, as a series of ones and zeros called binary or base two. The left-hand most bit or number is called the signed bit, which says if a number is positive or negative, with 0 being positive and 1 being negative. The remaining 31 numbers following that are store the actual number of seconds counted. This ticking over happens when the signed bit is 0, meaning positive, and the rest of the numbers are all 1. When you add 1 to that, the signed bit becomes 1, meaning negative, and the rest becomes 0, and the computer sees this and interprets it as the lowest possible value of just over minus 2 billion and change, which, I hope you'll forgive me if I don't say, say all of it. You may be asking yourself, why don't we remove the signed bit and use that to count the number of seconds as well? Well, there's a couple of issues with that. First of all, it doesn't really fix the issue, it merely pushes it further back to 2106. And secondly, um, there are some systems that actually need to count a negative number of seconds and removing the sign bit would actually cause issues for those systems. So, is this being looked at? The short answer is yes. The main solution that appears to be being pushed out is to use a signed 64-bit integer to count the time. So, using a signed 64-bit integer will give us 2 times 63 minus 1 seconds and I want to read this out for you because it is exceedingly long. That is equal to 9 quintillion, 223 quadrillion, 372 trillion, 36 billion, 854 million, 775 thousand, 807 seconds, which as you can imagine is a hell of a lot of seconds. So you may be asking yourself, what's that in real time, in proper time? Well, that'll give us over 292 billion years. That's right, billion with a B. And it'll take us to 3.30 p.m. in 8 seconds on Sunday, the December the 4th of the year 292,277,026,596, which as you can imagine is a hell of a long way from now. So that is essentially it. If you want more information on the year 2038 problem as well as solutions that are being considered, please check out the links in the description below which will lead to places that can go into more detail than I can in this video. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, like and share it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button and feel free to check out the rest of my channel. And I wish you all goodbye. Bye.